who's a type of woman. In fact, that feminine medalist has been showcasing for the last five decades. The next speaker is an exemplary mother to her two children, the best leader to her brilliant team of women, and she has taught Mr. Vikram Arora more about womanhood than any magazine could. <laughs> the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my steps, the curl of my lips. I am a woman. Phenomenally. I walk into a room just as cool as you please. And to a man, the fellow stands or falls down on his knees. Then they swarm around me, a hive of honeybees, I say. It's the fire in my eyes, the flash of my Phenomenally. Now you understand why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump or need to speak real loud. I say, it's in the click of my heels, the palms of my hand, the need of my care, because I am a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman. All you women and me. She's my role model, my mentor, the woman who took me under her wing and uh, she made me feel uh, loved. And she's right here in this room. Her name is Elaine Griffson. Ladies and gentlemen, to officially launch the very first cover of Femina Middle East, please join me in welcoming the phenomenal Sunam Kapoor. I would love to know, how does it feel to be on the inaugural cover of Femina Middle East? So, uh, for me, my association with Femina is extremely long and deep, and it's uh, amazing to be on the cover of the first issue of the Middle East uh, version of it, because I love the magazine and I love coming to the Middle East. I have to say that even before I discovered your movies, I first saw a video of yours a L'Oreal clip on, on YouTube okay. and I swear I fell in love with you oh, okay. and I start using L'Oreal products even more because I, I just <laughs> found that you were so, so, so cute. I'm sure L'Oreal will be very happy to hear that. <laughs> Can we please show her our love for everything that she's doing? Issue, the July issue of Femina Middle East. Congratulations to the entire team who put together the first issue of Femina Middle East. I encourage you all now, ladies and gentlemen, to keep the magazines close to your hearts and allow it to inspire you. Thank you.